Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Yes, some strength is coming in at the moment into the market. Um, Bitcoin has moved from support into resistance. We've seen the bounce that we wanted to see here. Um, this here could be a five wave move down and the move up is now, while I record this video, at the upper end of the corrective, uh, that's not the corrective structure, it's at the upper end of the resistance area, really, of standard resistance. We all know that B waves can sometimes overshoot. Um, it will now depend on what the market is doing sort of now in the next one or two hours. I did already post on Discord that probably today we will have the answer if we are moving higher in the blue count. Okay, and um, or maybe, you know, circle B is already complete, even though for me that looks more like a five wave move down. Now again, that's very interpretive. But the idea is it could be wave A in white. Okay, this pullback, we talked about that in the previous video. Everybody should be aware of the standard resistance area. Everybody was aware of the support area. The price touched it a couple of times, then took off, moved into resistance. Not the major move, at least not yet. Just a normal like move from support into resistance. And at the moment, while I record this video, at least there is rather an increase in momentum. And I would say it rather looks as if we're going to break above resistance. That in itself is not so important yet, um, but it's the first signal that wave C in blue is unfolding instead of another dip down. The only question at the moment is whether the market gives us another pullback, if the market offers another pullback. So as you might remember from the previous updates, I highlighted to you that while I hold my expectations here, my bullish expectations loosely at the moment, I am looking for higher prices because this move up resembles a five wave move up. So the pullback into the support area is was an opportunity. Could be that we dip into this area again, but maybe it's taking off more directly. That's what the blue count is for. If the blue scenario is unfolding, then theoretically wave C in blue should also be a five wave move. So in, you know, in theory, sometimes these waves or structures are not so clearly defined but we might see something like that one two three four five in blue so this is something um, this is something to be aware of that we could then start wave two the, the wave two pullback in blue yeah um, from somewhere here but to get more confidence that really the blue scenario is unfolding I'd like to have a clear five wave move up for me, that's mm, rather three at the moment to the upside as well. So we have five down, three up. Okay, I could be wrong with that interpretation of a five wave move down. Maybe it's only three waves down, but still the move up hasn't even broken standard resistance. So that is what is important today. If there is any additional support area that I can add maybe for blue wave two, then I will do that throughout the day on Discord. And then I will also talk about that in my next video, we're very late today, but on Discord I provide intraday updates if anything changes. N until now, nothing has changed. However, there is some strength, as I said, that has come into the market. Um, you see that we had this trend line, the trend line broke, okay? Price touched support and then took off, but did not get rejected. I thought we might see maybe a retest from, you know, here. That would have been one reasonable expectation getting a retest done of the trend line from below, getting rejected, starting that white C wave down. Now, the fact that this is not happening, and I will take that trend line out now because we don't need it anymore, is a first signal that maybe, that maybe here's something more bullish is playing out because the bulls have stepped in. The fact that we now break above resistance is also not yet evidence that we are forming uh, or moving in the blue count, but it's getting more likely. Okay, that's why we have resistance on the chart. We all know that B waves can overshoot. Um, so I will keep you updated about that. But for now, yeah, my expectations overall that we should go higher. They remain valid. They haven't changed. And if we go back to the daily chart, because on the shorter time frame, there isn't much to talk about now. But on the daily chart, just to show you the two scenarios I have been tracking that I am tracking, um, you see here one scenario is obviously here on this time frame, the, the white count, which allows for direct continuation towards the 74k region. This is one that I'm observing. And in the other count, which is the yellow one, we are also watching for higher prices in wave Y of B. 
So in this case also, we could see the price go higher towards 67K. These were the two main levels I highlighted to you in previous days on uh, in, in the videos about the daily time frame. And then on the smaller time frame, the one hour chart, we see the possible pathways, how the market could get there. So that's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.